Chapter 9, The Hidden Threat Mr. Aga, determined to uncover the saboteurs, took immediate action. He assigned a team to closely monitor his employees and instructed another team to search every nook and cranny of his house for any hidden transmitters. They employed the most advanced methods, but their search yielded no evidence of a transmitter or wireless microphone. Meanwhile, Zishan returned home with a friend, Tarek, after hearing about the riots in Hyderabad and Karachi. His father expressed his concern, a mix of love and scolding, reminding Zishan not to stay out too long without informing the family. Mr. Aga emphasized the importance of communication. Zishan introduced Tarek, his schoolmate, to his father. Mr. Aga allowed them to play carom in Zishan's room and encouraged Zishan to take a friend along whenever he left the house. As they played, an undercover operative, engaged in the search, discreetly informed Mr. Aga that the transmitter was located in Zishan's room. Aga instructed them to search the room, but only when Zishan was not present. His anxiety grew as he realized that the saboteurs might have infiltrated his home. That evening, Zishan went to the drawing room to study with religious scholar. The room was thoroughly searched, but no transmitter was found. Mr. Aga's worry deepened as he questioned the police officer about the device's presence. The officer explained that it existed but had mysteriously vanished. Shortly after, the officer returned with startling news. There was a hidden bugging device in the drawing room, likely taken there by Zishan. They believed Zishan intended to give it to Malvi Sahib or transmit information to the saboteurs. Mr. Aga, torn between suspicion and trust, listened closely to Zishan and Malvi Sahib's conversation from a distance. Malvi Sahib recited an old lesson and introduced a new one, which Zishan repeated after him. After some time, Malvi Sahib left the room, and Zishan went back to his own. No suspicious exchange occurred between them. Mr. Aga turned to the police officer, who suggested searching the drawing room. However, the officer detected no signal from the transmitter, indicating it was no longer there. The mysterious disappearance of the transmitter left Mr. Aga perplexed, unsure of how the saboteurs operated within the sanctuary of his own home.